Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I know I've been gone for a while so let's play some catch up. So yeah, um, a lot has been going on in the last couple months. Uh, we moved into a new house. We actually <laughs> moved in on Father's Day. So let me just give you a little background when it comes to this house. Okay, so this is a situation. Sorry, I'm gonna do my makeup in here while I talk to you guys. Um, we bought the house November of last year. And by the way, today's July 4th, so happy 4th of July. I know this is gonna be coming out afterwards, but yeah, happy 4th of July, loves. But yeah, so we bought the house last November. So what is that, like eight, nine months ago. So the house was definitely in, like, it was in worse condition than we thought. So like, we obviously had a house inspector come here all that good stuff and at the time the house inspector said basically like look your um I do see water damage in your roof but it looks like it was old and it looks like it was fixed and the owner at the time did say like hey it was fixed whatever hello you're making a debut <laughs> Uh, by the way, guys, I'm using this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I absolutely love it. This is in the shade Valerius, and I think I'm going to use this for my wedding makeup, and that's a separate story I'm going to get to after. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, back to the house. So whatever, long story short, like the roof inspector gave us the go-ahead. Okay, whatever, we're good. And mind you, we made an agreement with the current owner because he needed this money from the sale of the house to um, put for his new place. And so we made an agreement with him that he was allowed to stay in, in this house that we had now bought. We technically bought it, I think, in October of last year. We said, yeah, sure, you can stay in here for two whole months. So he was paying us a, an agreed upon, agreed upon money and rent. He was paying, you know, the utilities while he was here. But of course, you know, that put us behind and moving in. So that was one thing. And I was like, okay, whatever. I, I get that though. You know, he needed the money. That's fine. And you know what? Honestly, it wasn't like a big deal for us at the time. So we're like, that's fine. We totally understand. And so like we were getting so much rain. And I remember we wanted to come look at the house one time. This is like right before we bought it. And the guy was like, oh, like it's not like it's not a good time right now. And we we're like, okay, that's kind of weird. And lo and behold, like later, uh-oh, thank you. <laughs> we find out that he didn't want us to look at a ho that house, or this, our house that day because we had so much rain in Florida and uh, the roof was actually bad, by the way. And so like there was water dripping down 100% because when we moved in, we saw it. So that day, that's why he didn't want us to come here because I'm sure it was dripping and he didn't have time to clean it up yet. So whatever. We come look at the house another day, it looks fine. Long story short, we bought the house, the guy stayed here, he ended up moving out. Okay, so now let's fast forward to, it's like hey. November. And we come in the house, we're checking stuff out. And mind you, we knew we like had to pretty much like gut out the kitchen and like for real do some work in the house, but we weren't expecting to replace all that we ended up replacing. So we come in the house and we're like, man, the ceiling looks really soft. So we literally, I'll put some videos in here, but in a second, but like I could literally press a broomstick on the ceiling and it just poof, crumbled down. So the roof was 100% leaking. The owner was for sure aware of it. And the roof guy, or, or I'm sorry, the home inspector, I guess, didn't catch it at the time because this was before all the flooding happened when he was inspecting the house. And so we basically got tricked um, in a way. And I mean, it is what it is, but we were not expect, we would have for sure asked for more money off the house if we knew we had to get a new roof. So whatever, it is what it is. Long story short, we had to end up getting a new roof. And then these holes are literally from his broomstick. Look at that. Cause it's so, what, look. I mean, that's ridiculous. That fell down from the ceiling. You can see that it's wet. Like, look, it's, Literally, it can crumble it in my hand. As you can see, it's dripping. Then, this is the second leak. Same thing. 
we ended up having to get a new roof, okay? A whole new roof. Luckily, and if you live in Florida, this is something that could help you. Um, there's a type of loan, it's called a PACE loan, and basically, if you're improving your house, so if you're like getting a new roof, getting new windows, like improving your property value, value, obviously Florida wants you to do that, they will let you get basically on like a payment plan for that improvement if that the company that you hire also like goes along with that if they are a company that services that the PACE loan for Florida, right? So anyway, we found a company that did that, so we are on a payment plan for that, which is great. So anyway, but the whole point is, you guys, sorry to ramble on, but the whole point is that it was a lot more work than expected, but we literally had to replace almost every ceiling in our house. Every ceiling had to get replaced, and I don't know if you guys have ever done housework before, but you guys, that is massive. Like, it's putting up the drywall, okay, in the ceiling, so then we like had to pay for all this drywall, and then we also had to... Um, I'm just going in with the Physicians Formula um, little bronzer. Like, I'm just doing like a light little makeup look today. But yeah, um, so we had to like replace all the drywall. And then, you know, we had a contractor that was working on the house. And that was just, he did what he had to do. But at the same time, he definitely like took advantage of us. That's just a separate story. I'm not going to get into whatever it is, what it is. But he was doing the work at first. And we ended up getting rid of him and getting other people like we got rid of he did some of it we got rid of him me and my husband well fiance like we did some of the work and then we hired a company to come in and finish it fast forward it's father's day so june 18th june 19th and we were like gonna wait to move in because at this point like um i'll show you guys the house in a second but the floors are still not done um, it's pretty much the same point when we moved in on Father's Day, except we recently got a lot of stuff from Ikea, like for our kitchen, like we're just building our kitchen ourselves because it's just going to be a lot more affordable. Um, and oh, by the way, guys, I use this blush. I'm obsessed with this. This is new from NARS. It's in the shade Dolce Vita. It's their new liquid blush. I absolutely love it. But anyway, yeah, so like, um, the floor's still not done. Like I'll show you guys right now. This is our, this is my master bathroom. Okay. So we did not have, let me, hold on guys. So this is where the shower head's supposed to go, which we didn't put in yet. So as you guys can see, this is, you know, how you turn on the faucet. This is our handheld. Our contractor that we first had, you know, that the one I said we fired. So this looks good from the front. Look at it from the side. Look at this. Literally, this is the situation. I'm like, Oh my goodness, like this is ridiculous. Hi. Basically, you guys, that is the story of the house. We're working on it. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? You gotta like, you gotta just send it. And we were ready to get out of our old place. We needed to get out and it was just like, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead, I forgot to pop these Lumify drops in. I really like these. Um, anyway. So that was that that basically. Um, and then so I guess I'm gonna move on to the story of our our wedding. But yeah, let me know if you guys have had any house projects. Okay, so for our wedding, yeah, we we're gonna get married next year, like I said. And basically, my dad, so he had a heart attack like a couple years ago. I was actually there, thank God, in the house. I wasn't supposed to be, it was actually um, supposed to be working, but I wasn't feeling that great that day, so I ended up staying home. And um, this is before I had the baby. And um, yeah, my dad was coming down to visit because originally <laughs> we're from Ohio, and so he was <laughs> he was coming down to visit. And um, yeah, like I was there, and, and <laughs> yeah, and he had a heart attack, whatever, long story short, he's fine now, obviously, he's he's here with us, so I'm very grateful for that, um, but anyway, this year, like literally a month or two to go, ago, <laughs> yay, he calls me, or I called him, I was like, hey, what's up, how's it going, you know, just check it in, and he was like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, like, I was 
was just in the hospital. Like, basically, he had a scare. And that just really made me, like, think. I was like, oh, my God. Like, he's fine right now. Like, considering everything, like, you know. Um, but it just made me think, like, that could have been really bad. Like, he could have had another heart attack, possibly. Like, you don't know. So, it just made me think, like, why wait? Like, I was talking to Jonathan, and that's my fiance's name, and I was like, I was like, we just need to, um, woo. I was like, I think we should just get married this year because, like, I want my dad to be able to walk me down the aisle. I'm his only daughter, and I'm his youngest, so it's like, it's really important to him as well. So, we just decided to go ahead and do it this year. So, anyway, um, a lot of good news this year. You know, we moved into our house. We're gonna get married this year, but it's just a lot because as you guys know, the year is winding down, so I don't have that long to put something together. Anyway, so a lot is happening. That's why I have not been on YouTube as much. I have been on TikTok. Um, if you guys have not followed me, follow me on TikTok. I'll put my handle in the description. It's at it's um, at Rachel Bell 17, but I'll link in the description. And yeah, um, I'll be posting on there actually later this week. I'm doing a Marshalls haul, so I'll be posting that on there. And I recently um, just picked this up. It says, for my hair, dude, it made my hair the softest it's ever freaking been. I have it posted on TikTok right now. It's basically a heating cap. Um, you oil your hair and pop this baby on for like 30 minutes or so. And it literally, I'm not even kidding you, my hair was like buttery soft. I just did it yesterday. It's super shiny. I absolutely am obsessed. I will be doing this every time I shampoo, which is like once or twice a week. Absolutely love it. But yeah, I have that video on my TikTok and I have the product linked um, on my Amazon storefront on my TikTok if you guys wanna check that out. And I'll also be doing a pretty little thing haul once I get the package. Um, I think like next week, I'll be posting that on there as well. So anyway, that's that um, situation. I'm just gonna quickly Hard to straighten her through because my hair is a little wavy today but anyway so yeah I mean like that's pretty much it you guys that's like why I have not been on YouTube lately is just like I've had so much going on I still have a lot going on but it's all exciting so that's good yeah I just popped on my eyeliner off the of camera really quick um it was the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid eyeliner like literally this is the best one I've used so far just because I feel like on what's wrong baby just because I feel like it stays on all day and then like I really like the tip um, I feel like it's super like skinny and it gives me like a really good line. So yeah, and I don't honestly know what I'm gonna do with my hair today. I did like straighten it real quick, but I think I'm just gonna wear it down today, just like tuck behind my ear. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and I'll show you my outfit. Be, you know, 4th of July and do my white little top. Yeah, blue underwears, baby. Little shorts, the well, it looks like a skirt, but the really shorts. I got this whole thing from Marshalls. This top I think was like 10 bucks. These are I think like on sale for 10, 11, 12 bucks. And they're not exactly red, but you know, they're gonna do the job. So here's the whole outfit. I think it's super cute. Thank you guys so much for watching and all your support. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Comment below if you want to see any videos in particular like the house, some outfits, some makeup, whatever you guys want. Let me know and I will see you guys on the next one. Oh and happy 4th of July and I hope you guys have a great day.